Hello and welcome to Tarot Pal. If you just found me on YouTube or through Instagram, I welcome you to my new and small but everyday growing Tarot Pal family. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me today and clicking on this video. Without much ado, let me give you the quick things that you need to know and then we'll get into the piles and the explanation of what are we going to do. You can book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me if this reading resonates and you've been following me on Tarot Pal Instagram account and you've seen the other videos that I've posted on YouTube and you resonate with my energy. You can book a one-on-one -on -one paid reading with me. Send me an email, drop me a DM. I'll be happy to connect with you. Typically, a 30 minutes reading starts from INR 1500 and a one hour reading would be INR 3000. If you're not following me on Instagram and you just found me on YouTube, every day I post some of the other ritual, we go live and there's a lot of fun and action happening on the Instagram account of Taropal. So don't forget to you know follow me there and we'd have you know a lot of engagement and I can perhaps answer your one-on-one -on -one questions there as well. Now that said, on this description box, you will find some relevant readings for you now that you've clicked on this video so if you like this video and you resonate with the reading don't forget to click on these links and see the other recordings i am aware that the likes do not show up on youtube for you guys as in when we are watching it as youtube audience but every like that you give me does motivate because guess what i can see it it's a youtube bug it's ongoing many creators are facing this issue and i think they'll fix it when they fix it if you do like the reading, guys, don't forget to subscribe because every subscription does change the algorithm. It helps me. It motivates me. It helps Taropal. It helps you. So don't forget to subscribe if you like the reading. If you're a returning subscriber and you've been a part of my 60 days now, I think we're 60. Oops, I shipped that. 60 days old journey. Thank you so much for your continued support. All the lovely messages you send me. Every message, honestly, brings a huge smile on my face and one of the biggest blessings of creating Tarot Pal is the ability to connect to souls like you. Thank you so much for showing up again. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading as usual. If you're new to pick a cards you can pick from the piles here or you can pick a crystal. Go by your intuition. These are general readings. It's very much possible that you feel drawn to more than one pile because these are general readings when I'm making the piles I'm only asking for whoever picks the stone so there are obviously going to be more people than you alone picking the stone unlike a one-on-one -on -one reading <coughs> excuse me it perhaps means that there are messages for you in that recording as well okay um, what else these are general readings only take what resonates leave the rest don't try to fit in a message which is not for you um, no tarot reading on a YouTube can give you all the answers and have patience with yourself while you you know go through the journey okay that said let's jump into it the topic is obviously evident from the thumbnail this is pile one pile two pile three you will find timestamps below this is brown goldstone just to give you a close-up of this so that's brown gold goldstone <laughs> okay and this is blue lace agate you know, a quick funny trivia or a fact um, I got this stone because in my dreams and this is very funny in my dreams one day somebody I dated came and that person was in the mountain and he had a stone in his hand and he just opens the hand and this is the stone I see so yeah that was my message from spirit to get the stone um, this is pyrite pile three so that's one two three you'll find the timestamps below see you in your recording Hello and welcome to those of you who speak this beautiful brown gold stone. If you don't know about this stone, um, it's a stone very, you know, very much helpful with root chakra healing as well as if you are in an industry or in a career which requires you to connect to more and more people and fame in any manner is important for you. Fame, of course, has different definitions for different people. I mean, you know, maybe you need more followers. Maybe you want more people to read your content, any form in which you need to connect with multiple people. Uh, gold stones of every color is a wonderful stone to work with. What I have today and how we'll break this reading down is we will also look, forgot to tell you in the intro like I always do, we have some dice here. So we'll add some fun 
we are going to look at numbers which are relevant for you we are going to do two different types of yes and no so one is of course the card pull at the end of the reading um where you can ask a question i will pull a card um you know the answer is a yes or a no now to validate that of course we're going to do two different things here we also have dices so i'm going to give you some angel numbers if you don't know what angel numbers are whatever number comes out you can just type in that number type in the word in google angel number ahead of it uh, in front of it and you will know what that number means okay uh, any of you who are a part of uh, numerology or you follow numerology um i've read a lot about that as well and um, kind of applied it look at the spellings of my name <laughs> yeah um but uh, you know the, the dice will help us understand more number vibrations for you that said i've rambled enough first we're going to look at tarot and then we're going to look at your oracle cards so i'm keeping them right here and let's look at what comes out wow the first thing i notice is we've asked about career money and finances and i've asked about the next 90 days plan of action guidance for you now the first thing i notice pentacles are for career money finances you know typically the moment somebody says career money finances or anything materialistic or linked with uh, worldly values the first card that you know the first deck which will come in my mind would be the minor arcana set is pentacles because pentacles is related to the earth energy and pentacles talk about you know the grounded material world now if you notice here we have all four cards as cups cards in traditional um, rider waite tarot deck this is cups so summer is cups as per uh, i'm using animal spirit guidance from doreen virtue and wow i'm blanked out on the i think radlick has designed this um so what i do notice the first off as soon as we have your cards cups represent emotions cups represent intuition and the question that we've asked and the topic that we're discussing is actually career the first message i want to give everybody in this pile is that the first step for you is get out of your heart and do the thing that needs to be done okay we'll deep dive into each card and we'll get into the message but the first blanket message for everybody is that with so many cups showing up and not a single sword wands or pentacles showing up in your reading uh it's a clear indication um you know you're too much in your heart uh, and i'll get to why you're in the heart uh, i'll rearrange this actually rather and your emotional health is affecting your financial ecosystem okay whoever speak this file that is the first message your emotional health needs focus and healing and perhaps moving away from the heart space will be great at this stage because um clearly we needed some other energy to show up so let me now get into the step by step action plan you see how synchronic you know this is four of cups for those of you who are absolutely new to tarot that's four of cups eight of cups six of cups so i have four six eight yeah that's one angel number you need to look at four six eight is one angel number you might be seeing multiples of two you might be seeing multiples of 4 or 8 if you are do tell me in comments below okay and then i have the page of cups many of you who speak this pile belong to some sort of a creative field or at least hope to get some uh, you know job or some offer for your creative systems okay for your for what you like to do creatively uh, that's one very clear message a lot of artists a lot of actors a lot of uh, writers a lot of Uh, anything that has creative in fact there is no job that doesn't require creativity what i try what i'm trying to emphasize more is that your profession whichever profession you're in perhaps has a stronger element of intuition heart and emotions okay you might also be ngo workers or uh, people who are supporting some sort of a cause for a profession right the first step for you in your next 90 days action plan is to get out of this energy of boredom stuckness and lack of gratitude okay how will you do that first thing get into gratitude journaling why am i asking you that 
whenever the four of cups shows up it's an energy wherein we have perhaps some offers on the table but those offers are not exciting us and we are waiting for something else to show up we don't want to accept what the universe is sending towards us and that stagnation that boredom is creating more and more similar energy okay so the first message is take the first step even if you're not emotionally feeling it okay sometimes we got to push ourselves out of our bed and this pile clearly needs to push themselves out of that uh, stagnation or that boredom that you're stuck in okay also very important please don't miss out on thanking the blessings that you already have if you do not like the offers that are coming your way start thanking um, the things that you do like and why do you like them right say that affirmation to you 10 times in a day um let's say 6 uh, years ago you got an opportunity which you really really loved working on on a project or an assignment talk to yourself and talk to the universe about what you've loved about that project and how you're working on similar projects those kind of conversations that kind of self talk okay is going to be very very helpful for you your step 1 of the next 90 days action plan is to get out of your hard space and somewhere move that physical energy because here there is a stagnant energy okay in case anywhere in your house this is a vastu tip any of the uh, you know the taps are leaking or there is some sort of a water pipes problem or you have an water overflowing or leaking or um, you know there is any kind of a stagnant water getting built somewhere uh, guys first thing fix that okay that's what's causing you uh, money issues or financial issues and things are kind of getting stuck so make sure that inside your house there is no stagnation of water or no leaking pipes okay that's the second tip for you The next action plan is I want you to go back because clearly this this pile has had you know you're not feeling it your problem right now the biggest problem is uh, more than opportunity showing up or not you're not emotionally feeling very motivated Mars has moved into Leo and uh, as per Vedic astrology at least uh, I've not checked the western one um and that is definitely going to be very helpful a lot of us felt a lot of stagnation and a lot of you know overwhelmed by emotions if that's what i'm trying to get here in the past one and a half month or two months because mars was transiting through cancer okay and that's not a very comfortable space for a fiery sign like mars so now that mars is moving into leo which is its fire element again uh, you will feel and leo is also some you know leo also rules the fifth house okay fifth house is about children is about pleasure is about romance is about creativity okay where am i getting with this we have the six of cups which is also a card of childhood um you know things that you've enjoyed as as a kid the inner child coming out and that playfulness you know that nostalgia this guy is also talking about the same playfulness both these cards have a very similar energy when it comes to opening your heart and doing the things that you really loved to do okay even if not a lot of opportunities are showing up for you i have to pause that video for a second because it's hot and i need to switch on the fan okay what you need to focus on is to get that motivation flowing within okay if your energy changes and you feel that spark inside you i'm very sure the opportunities will start showing up for you how do you get to that place somebody from your childhood or somebody you've known in the past people you've worked with in the past might have great offers might be doing things that you like to do maybe you want to reach out to them right a motherly figure might also be of help so anything that you've already done in the past and you've enjoyed emotionally that is your step 2 go do that okay those kind of hobbies it could be very ridiculous to you right now but clearly whoever picked this pile you need an energy shift you need an emotional cleanse okay um you might be also people who have many many dreams and somewhere there's a confusion and somewhere you're holding yourself back because you're not able to decide whether this is a good time to do it or not and the answer is it definitely is with the eight of summer okay eight of summer is eight of cups 
you might have done you know you've kind of covered a journey let's say you've been working for 15 years you've covered a journey and now you're standing at a place in life wherein you're not sure if it is a great time to take that leap of faith and start something new i have enough you know i've kind of done enough uh, do i really need to shift is this a great time to change it is because intuitively you're very aware that there is more that you can do intuitively you're very aware that you're not acting to the best of your potential okay you emotionally know that because you know that don't listen to the naysayers don't listen to your own inner doubt okay there is some sort of a childhood fear which you're going to conquer in the next three months there's some sort of a value add that you'll find um which is why i'm asking you to maybe go visit your uh, birthplace uh, go back to the roots Okay, that's the message. Back to the roots is the key phase for you. And when you're back at the roots, you, you'll need that healing and then go follow that big dream. Don't settle where you are. In case you've been, you know, kind of thinking of shelving a plan which hasn't been working, don't quit on that plan. Okay, something might, you know, you might be a startup uh, entrepreneur or you might be an artist and you might not have seen a lot of work come in. This message through this uh, reading, I want you to understand your emotional energy needs to change and opportunities will flow in. You don't really have to quit what you're doing or you don't have to hold yourself back from taking that next big leap um, just because you don't see things moving right now. Okay, um, this also tells me that clearly there's a there's going to be some younger people okay you might have you might be leading a team with which you have you know a substantial age difference or they could be juniors to you who have great ideas take those ideas let's say you're looking for a job okay i can apply this example in various ways let's say you're looking for a job instead of just reaching out to the people who are your leaders or perhaps have an opportunity at you know higher hr positions Consider reaching out to people whom you've perhaps already worked with in the past or have been your uh, previous clients, previous colleagues. Your opportunity comes from the past. Okay, You need to go tap into that past network and that pool of people you already have met and engaged with and money will start flowing in for you. Okay, The next 90 days, emotional healing is what you need to focus on for your career and finances to get better. I hope I was able to explain that pretty clear. Let's move to your guidance card so that we can get deeper. Wow. You see, it's all about emotions everywhere. Okay. There's a sense of disappointment that I feel with this file. Okay. You're, you're, you're getting uh, emotionally bogged down by the amounts, by, you know, kind of, you've made a list of things that haven't worked out for you somewhere at the back of your mind and you're not feeling that energetic push you know, to go and take up that next leap. And that's the only action plan you need. You need to get off your bed. You need to move your body. You need to get off your mind and your heart. And you need to start talking to people. Start engaging with people. Okay. Also, you might find, this is pretty strange. You know, I have that light on all the time. And I don't know whether that's the weather. But I just had a moth show up in my room so if you don't know moths are beautiful spiritual animals and they have a great spiritual message of you know um transforming and growing and uh, that the third eye chakra opening okay um guys this pile you clearly have a spiritual mission okay you you guys have come here with a spiritual mission and that spiritual mission uh, is somewhere linked you know whatever career and financial blockages that you might be facing right now is also because of the uh, past life karma somewhere wherein you, you you kind of you know you see these two this is a lot of childhood story this is a lot of past playing out okay i'll read this message for you the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father heart chakra healing shadow work father wounds mother wounds if you have any of those issues next three months for your career and your finances to get better you need to work on that okay do the shadow work and actually do the work remember this reading is about plan of action so you actually need to take the action you know you need to jump in and deep dive into your own emotional health for your 
financial prosperity to come in, for your career to get to where you need to get in. In case something doesn't work out for you in the next three months, I want you to remember this message, okay? And carefully noted, it's for some specific people. Some kind of an opportunity will come towards you in the next 90 days and you will be very excited initially. But right after that, wow, do you see that? Hey, that's a light insect. I don't know when they're coming in today. I didn't even have a window open. I'll just let them be. They're not disturbing me. I hope they're not disturbing you either. Okay. Anyway. Uh, where was I? Yep. Some sort of an opportunity is going to show up for you guys. And when it doesn't go the way you hoped that it'll go. Okay. It might hit a disappointment or it might initially feel great and it doesn't turn out to be as great. In that second, in that minute. Okay. If you can just remember to consciously create the thought of forgiveness and excitement at the same time. You know, I know it's difficult, but that's exactly where brain programming comes into place, right? That's exactly where awareness and meditation helps. If you do regular meditation, you become more aware about your own emotional scale. What am I thinking? What am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? You can call yourself out of your own, you know, that's what mind awareness does. That's exactly what is done for me. You know, you, we don't become superhumans when we meditate. We just become more aware, okay? You will be asked to forgive if, you, if you've already experienced this very recently, then this message is for now. But somewhere in this na next 90 days, there will be a moment in time wherein you will have a decision that either you can forgive this person, forgive this incident, forget about it, open your heart and try again, or you can get stuck in that energy. Okay? If you get stuck in that energy, you're going to delay that abundance of yours. If in that moment you consciously remember that you're here for love, right? We are all here for love. People will make mistakes. Somebody in your organization might make a mistake. If you're able to forgive in that minute, that reputation that you will gain, okay, moving back to that fame energy that you've put, that is going to be abundant for you. Forgive the people who have done, you know, who've perhaps back, back, you know, wow, I can, I'm backstabbing. Wow, I couldn't remember the word for a minute. Backstabbed you professionally with money, if anybody has taken money from you and, uh, you know, lied to you, that forgiveness is very much needed. Okay. If you've not found the most supportive family when it comes to your career, if you've not had the most supportive parents, please understand. I know not all parents. I'm not going to say every parent on this planet, but 90% of the parents, even when they are being toxic, they are not being toxic by intention. Okay. They might be being toxic. Sometimes love can be toxic and I understand that right but as as you as and when we grow right it was harder for me to forgive my parents for certain things for example when i was 23 at 28 it felt like you know what i get it i mean it, it's still not okay that they did what they did but i kind of get it you know what the example means right you kind of understand how adulthood is difficult right and it's even if your parents are not very supportive of something that you're trying to do right now, and that is what is emotionally holding you back, then please charge ahead. Okay, please charge ahead. This healing will happen. Okay, your next 90 day plan is to initiate more gratitude inside you. Go back to the past network of clients, people you've worked with, an opportunity of the past will show up. Do not hold yourself back in sense of fear for not starting something that you perhaps can. Don't hold yourself back. Go follow your intuition. You're going to walk towards a great opportunity. Okay. Also, do things that actually bring joy. Okay. Bring joy to you. Money has to be fun. What is the point of having a career if you're not having fun with it? Okay. We, we can't just do any job which just helps us pay bills. And I understand that. I mean, totally. Right. So in case you are stuck in a job which you actually do not enjoy, make out time for things that you actually enjoy so that that balance is created. OK, let's look at what angel number comes up for you now. You can now do this either way. So the total of the two dice, you can keep thinking of a yes or no question and give it in your mind. If the total is an odd, it's a yes. If the total is an even, it's a no. You can play it like that because dices are always fun games for us. It's a game of probability. Or you can also go ahead and, you know, wait for the angel number and uh, see what angel number comes up for pile one. So I have six and four. Okay. So 64 is your first angel number. 
okay four and six individually could be important numbers for you okay um six is sorry 10 which is one 10 talks about completion of cycle one talks about beginnings okay those were some messages now you can think of a yes or a no question and for your specific situation of course and let's look at what comes out if you get an opportunity this pile to support women children or animals in any manner in the next 90 days please take that opportunity wow that just automatically flew out the whatever you asked the answer was no but i'll take one more in fact i'll take two more to make it best of three okay that's a yes so i have one no one yes and let's see what the third comes out clearly again you see that emotional conflict is very evident here okay no so whatever you've asked guys the answer is a no hopefully it was something that you wanted to hear a no of again remember tarot is energy this is the present energy and the answer was no if the reading did resonate don't forget to subscribe if you are the first viewer who's watching this and you've picked pile 1 don't forget to comment and i'll be happy to pull you an additional personal card take care bye bye Hello and welcome to those of you who speak this beautiful it's one of my one of my favorite I mean it's very difficult to say which is my favorite crystal one of my favorite crystals is blue lace again and I want to talk about this crystal before we even get to your cards this crystal if you've heard the intro has a special story okay there was a phase in my life I was very bitter okay um life makes people bitter so there was a phase in my life that I was pretty bitter Blue lace agate actually showed up in a dream for me, and I got the blue lace agate. And how was I bitter? I wasn't bitter like I was angry or mad or pissed off at people all the time, but I was very aware that I am not very happy as an individual inside. And uh, when I saw the dream and I got the blue lace agate, I'll tell you how it's changed my life since then. It's been about, I think this is an I, the first blue lace agate that I started working with was about 2018. Okay, uh, in the past three years, and especially if you have. you know if you're people who face throat chakra issues which means you either struggle to express what you're feeling you struggle to articulate exactly what you mean and mean what you say and say what you mean or you struggle with other people comprehending what you're saying or sometimes you have communication issues um or let's say you you're somebody who gets very aggressive or angry um and you know what you say when you're angry can, can become very mean or rude all of this is you know throat chakra issues anybody who needs throat chakra healing this is one stone i definitely recommend you work with i know people like lapis lazuli and soda like more but just trust me trust me on trust me trust me i love lapis lazuli as well that's another great stone to work with but blue lace agate will ease that process for you if you're somebody who struggles with anger issues at work you get very cranky you get snappy you get moody okay blue lace agate is something you need it helps you communicate in a manner which is smoother okay which helps you become more softer if i'm trying to say it the right way but not soft in the sense that people don't take you seriously soft in the sense that uh You, you know your edges get softer if if you're getting the drill of it okay this is a wonderful stone for that if you're also healing a broken heart again a wonderful stone for that okay so that was your message for the pile you've picked how is this reading going to go we will look at dices at the end of this get you some angel numbers um which you can google and see what that angel number specifically mean for you you can also keep this as a yes or no for yourself you know if odd number total comes out or if even number total comes out and you can make yourself a question we look at these cards uh, again for a specific yes and no question for you we have tarot we have oracle okay so first i'm going to look at the tarot messages and then we'll get to oracle okay let's just make some space if you haven't yet watched wow this pile have a very strong message this is also linked with aquarius okay if you've not watched the full moon in aquarius pick a card reading that i've already posted go watch it i've also made independent igtv videos for full moon rituals that are recommended in that reading you can you'll find those in the tarot pal account of uh, on on instagram but this pile clearly needs to do some full moon ritual okay let's move ahead and i can see why okay wow what cards 
ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डोंट गेट स्केर्ड बाय लुकिंग एट द टेन ऑफ विंटर इफ यू इफ यू सी टैरो देन यू आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एसोसिएट अ लॉट ऑफ नेगेटिव मीनिंग्स टू टेन ऑफ सॉर्ड्स वील टॉक अबाउट इट एंड वील गेट टू इट बिकॉज दिस पाइल हैज ग्रेट थिंग्स कमिंग वेन एवर यू सी द सन शो अप just take it and go home well it depends on which position it came as well but anyhow let's talk about your tarot cards first let me just make some space and make sure you can see it all okay okay so first things first what is the 90 day plan you need to first of all deal so pile 1 had an issue with uh emotional stagnancy you have ptsd which is called post trauma syndrome disorder in case you didn't know that what do i mean by that something in the past has ended and you really had high hopes from it okay some things did not work out for you uh, in the recent past or maybe long time ago and you kind of still hold on to that memory okay this is for cert- some of you for some others uh, what is very evident is uh, something in the next 90 days will come to a closure will end okay and you will have very mixed feelings about this on one side you will feel like oh thank goodness this is done with i wasn't anyway very excited but somewhere maybe there's nostalgia maybe you like the people you were working with some kind of a nostalgia around oh it's over okay or some kind of a sadness around oh it's over okay if it's something that has already ended and you had a lot of high hopes on this is your current energy if it's something that has not recently ended that you had high hopes on then this is what your first energy is okay when this ending happens acknowledge it okay first of all don't numb it out of course never numb it out acknowledge it but don't let it make you make bitter it's so funny i just picked this stone and i told you my bitter story and that's it acknowledge it don't make it let you become bitter okay because there is a lot that you're going to do in the next 90 days you're going to lay down the seeds of your victory something that you've been some of in fact there's a mixed pile here okay so i have many messages so bear with me some of you have been working on something really hard you've built this from ground zero on your own and you've been waiting for the fruits of labor you've applied for some sort of an examination uh, you're waiting for the results to come out or you might be uh, an entrepreneur who's just you know you've been working 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 for an entire fucking year yikes i said the bad word i hope youtube doesn't catch it okay um but yeah moving on um where were we yeah so a lot of work has been put in and you've done a lot on your own okay you're going to get the victory you've been waiting for that's one clear message okay this pile needs to work out for sure that's one message your career and your finances and all of that will automatically improve if you start working on your physical body okay uh, do you see how active these two are both the breeds in fact themselves are very active breeds okay physical activity is very very necessary for you guys if you're not soaking in enough vitamin d i know it's very sunny or um, depending on where you are in india or where where you are in the world somewhere it's raining somewhere it's sunny but make sure that you you know you perhaps get enough vitamin d um, that's very important okay if you're not getting enough sunshine that's that's what's dulling your mood in the next 90 days step 1 make peace with what is over and be hopeful that better things are coming you're still holding on to something in the past and that's what's delaying your next step or your next opportunity okay so let what is ending end and be excited that it's ending because the moment it ends you will start something on your own okay uh you will start something there's a very independent vibe around this pile it could be a solo entrepreneurship that you start it could be uh you get a promotion it could be something that you it's it's a long due blessing if i'm able to make it make sense of that okay it's a long due blessing that you worked on you fought hard for okay and you've had a lot of naysayers that didn't believe that this can be yours but it is yours okay you are getting this victory your inner child healing is again very evident so in case you were confused between 2 and 1 you might have messages for yourself in 1 okay reach out to also um children and oldies okay elderly people uh, in your 
community in your work life in whatever way they fit in maybe you're a teacher maybe you're a professor um you will collaborate with somebody like that and you will find success there okay if you're planning a new business that's going to work out beautifully with the sun showing up for you here okay you're going to get success with the things that you've planned for in the next 90 days if it's possible for you make sure that in whatever manner whether you make an altar or you know every religion has a different way of doing it every family typically tends to do it differently but in whatever fashion you can pay regards to your ancestors whenever the nine of autumn shows up for me none of us can do anything on our own we've always had blessings uh, of our grandmothers our forefathers people who've been before us we need to acknowledge it okay so in the next 90 days make sure that you are paying regards in whatever fashion whether you do a small puja at home or you um, go visit you know the graveyard of uh, your grandfather or your grandmother Uh, something like that is very important uh, for your abundance and prosperity to grow okay the next step that you must take in the next 90 days or your next 90 days action plan apart from physical workout and paying regards to the ancestors and making sure that you are ready to charge ahead with the new we've already kind of covered quite a few um you know action plan or steps to focus on uh, guys you need to research more around whatever line of work you are in okay yeah uh, there is a strong need for this pile to do more homework okay uh, whenever there is uh, th- this two combination showing up for me you're charging ahead you've reached a certain place right um but the sun will always shed light towards wh- wherever it goes right so you will get to know the things that you don't know and when that happens you know when when you face that journey oh i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this i don't know this when the sun sheds light okay uh, don't because sun can also sun also has an energy of leo so leos can become very egoistic they don't like to be you know in that place where oh i don't know this i don't know that it's rather a great opportunity to learn then right so in the next 90 days there will be many op- moments in time wherein you will realize i don't know something don't shy away from asking for help don't shy away from collaborations don't shy away from um, acknowledging to yourself that yes i need help and yes i can do this it's a great thing to be independent and you will start a lot of things alone and on you know you'll be able to manage it all alone but somewhere don't get defensive you know and then stop your progress and your money okay don't lend money to anybody in the next 90 days that's a very clear message don't lend money uh, there could be you know some sort of a forgery or um, maybe the person is never able to return the money to you uh, but don't lend money if you can perhaps avoid it okay um of another message another immediate action plan that you can take right away is this thursday uh, is guru purnima okay it's a full moon in aquarius i'm which is why i'm strongly feeling this fine needs to really watch the full moon in aquarius with the card reading uh, there's some message for you in that reading which is very important uh, if you've already watched it and you've perhaps forgotten what it was you can also go back and rewatch it because i also feel some of you have watched it but you didn't pay heed to it and this reading through this message spirit is telling me like they need to go and do what i've asked them to do for you know that full moon so do know and do what needs to be done in that full moon reading make sure you're not missing out on this energy because there's guru purnima if there's a teacher in your life if there's a uh, guru in your life if there's anybody whom you consider to be your mentor make sure you pay regards to them okay um any kind of a new skill that you've been hoping to acquire do not delay it next 90 days just sign up and start okay the only thing you're not supposed to do is get stuck in this energy um oh but this didn't happen and that didn't happen but i tried it then just don't sit and overthink on it do it charge ahead okay do you see this guy like he's rushing on look at his body language okay he's rushing ahead because he's ready okay there might also be some i mean i see a strong promotion possibility for you guys if you guys are in that kind of a you know apply it realistically again these are general tarot uh, so i'm talking about the next 90 days if you if you if there is an opportunity or an igp that comes up in your organization and you kind of are thinking should i should i not should i should i not go for it you'll win any kind of a competitive exam go for it okay because here one message is definitely obvious you're getting some kind of a victory so for you to win at least you need to show up 
right people say oh i was going to get, get some sort of a victory or some lottery or some money did you show up right if you don't show up and if you don't do what needs to be done nobody is going to come and leave a bag of i mean somebody even if somebody has to come and leave a bag of uh, 1 billion dollars outside your door you have to open the door to find it right so you have to do something take that action i'm going to move into the oracle cards for you didn't i say this needs a work workout matlab amazing okay your body is trying to tell you of some sort of a physical movement required and please get to that guys it's very important okay and the reason it's very important from your career and your money perspective obviously if you're not if you're not well you're going to lose money that's number one number two uh, you know you might miss out on an opportunity because you couldn't show up that day because you were not well so you know these things that we ignore about our health and when they show up in tarot readings they're always talking about do it now and take this message because when that day comes that day if you're unwell or if you couldn't do it or you didn't feel like it that's when you'll miss out okay so pay focus focus on your health focus on your health for the um, you know uh, the abundance to increase any of you who are into a spiritual field or you are healers or spiritualist uh, a very clear message that psychic power will rise okay if you've lost somebody with these two showing up if somebody in your close family or a close friend has departed and reached to the other realm they send you love through this reading i know it's not related to career reads here but i will always read the cards as and when they show up somebody has picked this pile and they've lost someone recently uh, let me know of course if that's you um, and and this message confirms that they are they are at a happier place this could be even a pet it could be a somebody you cared about who's moved on to the other realm they they are blessing you they are with you and they will be a part of this victory they will bring you more abundance i don't know why this is making me very emotional okay so some of you who will watch this might cry at it because and you know what's really funny some of you need to know this i don't cry i'm not a person i mean it i there are like perhaps 5 6 10, 10 days in my entire life of being alive till 30 i'm not a cry crier okay i struggle to cry but sometimes when i'm in these readings okay and then spirit will come in so strong like it just did like i will get very shaky voice and that's always what's one when clear indication to me that this is not even me i don't cry okay so yeah i mean someone is sending you a lot of love it could also be a grandparent or something somebody like that they're very proud of you okay somebody whom you've known uh, is very proud of your professional journey is very proud of what you're doing and what you're going to do and they're sending you a lot of blessings through this reading okay this was a very wow a very very specific and a clear message uh, your ancestors you know there's so many cards here that talk to me about it um you might not feel that you've come a long way you might not think that there is a lot of success but look at it when you look at it from you know where your family was five decades five generations ago uh, or five six generations ago um, you know all those people they're blessing you they're proud of you they're cheering for you 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 are going to you're going to be the one who's going to be that you know that uh, that son that much deserved success Okay. wonderful energy showed up i mean this was unexpected um most importantly an important step for you in the next 90 days do not ignore your spiritual and your physical health okay because you can going to get a lot do you see the moon again here i just said do the full moon it's a full moon okay do the full moon rituals work with moon phases we have the sun and the moon showing up the crown chakra here again talks to me about the color purple uh, your spiritual health and the more you can connect to your intuition the more you can take care of your mind body spirit okay uh, the more success will flow up for you don't forget to subscribe and tell me in comments below if you if you felt that love and that you know if that proud there's some sort of a proud legacy that you're going to create okay let's look at your dice you can ask a question or you can take this as a angel number that shows up okay so we have 2 and 3 which is 5 which talks to me about change change is coming okay 2 and 3 is 23 that could be your angel number 2 and 3 independently could be important numbers for you the date 23rd july is right around the corner and by the way 23rd july is the full moon isn't spirit amazing 
right let's ask a yes or no question and see what comes up for you take some deep breaths Wow, wonderful reading for this spiral. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I love the message when it shows up. Okay, we have one out. This is surprising. You guys clearly have some message for you in pile one. Okay, they got the same card. What you asked is a no, but I'm going to take three cards just so that we're sure. So we'll take best of three, okay? What you've asked is a no, and that's a no again. And I just shuffled in front of you. Those two cards were there in pile one as well. This is very surprising. And a yes. So if two no's and a yes, what you've asked is a no. You might want to go see pile one. You have to, have to see the full moon in Aquarius reading. If you haven't, you'll find the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Wish you money, abundance, prosperity, wealth, because you deserve it. Hello and welcome to those of you who picked pile three. First of all, let me tell you what the reading is going to look like before we get into the messages. Because as usual, I never remember to cover everything in the introduction. We're going to do a yes and no, of course. So you can ask me a question uh, at the end of this reading and we will take out the tarot card. Three cards to find the best of three as your yes or no. I've also got dices today. So we'll look at some angel numbers, uh, some numerologically important numbers. Could be your life paths that show up. You can Google the angel number and see if there's an additional message for you there. I have tarot and I have oracle. What we're doing today is the next 90 days reading. If you haven't yet seen the full moon in Aquarius reading, please go watch it. The energies are very much active throughout the week. I've loved the reading. People have loved the reading. I think you will find something of value there. Okay, moving on. Since you've booked pyrite, let me talk about this crystal for a minute. One of my favorites, by the way, because I absolutely believe uh, it's helped me acquire a certain amount of money in life okay um, pyrite is a great stone for fire signs let me first tell you that so if you're a leo sagittarius or aries pyrite is amazing pyrite is an amazing stone it's called the fool's gold because it's a strong masculine crystal okay it will help initiate action it will help attract opportunities if you have a workstation at your house where you typically sit and work a pyrite would be much recommended with this being your option, this pile needs to take tangible action, okay, Whether, whatever your career is. Clearly, you cannot stay in a passive state. You need to take stride and go take action, okay. Let's look at your tarot first and then we'll look at your oracle cards. Wow, don't get scared with the three of swords as the first card. Then there is ten of wands. Then there is the magician and the ten of aurum. We have two tens here. Okay. Actually, I want to keep it like this. Yeah, that's right. Let's talk. Next 90 days action plan. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Because I know in the tarot community, the three of swords is like, I mean, of course, it's a bad card. Nobody wants to get it. Not that I'm saying let's all get three of swords in every reading. But it's not as bad as people think it is. Okay. Uh, Anyone wants to know the worst card for me? Tell me in comments below and I'll tell you which is the worst card. Or you can tell me which is the card you hate the most to show up in your readings. And I'd love to hear that too. Okay, three of swords. Some things have not worked out and they've not worked out for your best. Okay, some things will not work out in the next three months. And I know this sounds so cliche, so Pinterest quote, but nothing happens without a good reason. Right? I know it's hard to believe sometimes and it's heartbreaking sometimes, but it's a fact. Okay? Many of you might be very confused between two and one. In fact, I feel this file might have messages in both, depending on which side of the story you're in. Because, of course, this is a general reading. There are multiple people who pick it. Uh, some of you will resonate more with pile one. Some of you will have additional messages for you in pile two. Go with what you, you know, see. Watch the entire reading. Now... With the three of swords showing up and the moon here, you know, I can't miss the moon in these cards sometimes. Emotional health is playing a strong role in your career. Okay. Your betrayals and the losses and the sadness has created a stagnant energy. I also strongly feel this pile is facing money issues, specific money issues. Okay. You don't think you have enough money. You don't think uh, you have the ability to acquire enough money. Somewhere there's a lack of 
inner faith that money will come and money is bound to come money is nothing but energy guys okay money is pure energy those of us who are aligned to the energy receive it those of us who get off track get off it and then when you get back on track you get money again we make money sound so much more than what it really is it's just a piece of paper that is energetically aligned with wealth and abundance in the world that we are living in so the more powerful you feel inside the more is the probability for that alignment to happen masculinity is a very strong message for this pile somewhere you need to get to your own power i don't have the strength card here but i have a very strong emotion of strength here okay the strength card is a, card, a major arcana in tarot for those of you who don't know but that that feeling is very much here okay if you're overworking yourself the step one is to pause that's your most important thing many of you in this pile are workaholics and you've overworked yourself and that burnout is bringing you some sort of a failure or sadness so take this message as a alert that if you don't make sure that you have enough time for rest and rejuvenation you will fall down right so it's very important to ask for help collaboration is a very key message for this pile whoever's picked this pile okay taking tangible action is your second message active energy is what you need to get into no longer passivity okay send that linkedin message send that email approach that client go and take proactive action am i i hope i'm making sense with the magician and the 10 of swords you have all the tools and resources needed in the next 90 days to acquire and be what you want to be to get to this 10 of pentacles which is oh my god such a such a favorite card okay <laughs> everybody likes to see the 10 of pentacles um as a magician you have all the ideas you have all the resources you have all the skills somewhere number 1 you're not either you're not executing the law of attraction or you're very alien to it all together if you're not alien to the law of attraction then you're clearly sitting in too much passive energy and you've forgotten about law of action or you're taking so much action okay that you're burning out wherein you should be delegating these are the three buckets that i want to talk about okay delegation is the need of the hour if you're overworked if you're not working and you're sitting in the corner because you're heartbroken reach out to people be active and things will start falling in your lap okay magician also always talks to me about ideas communication because it's a very mercury card which is a gemini card okay i have a strong in fact i have all three four here wow yours is a nice mix i have a sword i have a wands and i have a 10 uh, of pentacles i don't have cups here which is again talking about that emotional health right your emotional health need focus your manifestation game needs to be upped this pile needs to understand that they are powerful co-creators and whatever they are trying to create there is an infinite loop of abundance do you see this infinity sign here there's an infinite loop of abundance that they can tap into if they believe in themselves if they're ready to delegate the work that needs to be delegated success is coming your way for sure guys if you've been waited for a you know commitment or a sign off or some sort of a paperwork that is also definitely happening in the next 90 days if you guys are looking for jobs and you've been feeling disappointed um again just take that tangible action reach out to people don't get burnt out because i tried with 100 and 100 didn't give me the role didn't give me the job didn't take my take my offer as a yes go to the 162nd one and you will find the success don't let your emotional scale become so disappointed that you know great things are no longer working out for you primarily because mentally you're getting burnt out there's a strong burnt out energy here in the next 90 days if you are workaholics i want you to make a schedule make a schedule for rest okay that is your step 1 today when you're done with this reading go back and ask yourself how do i rest what is my definition of rest you know what do i do when i'm resting am i making enough time in the day for rest because if you're not that is blocking your career focus that is giving you it's making you mental fog magician also sometimes shows up when people have mental fog because they're so tired they can't think straight okay schedule is a very need of the hour okay whatever tough times you've seen is going to go away 
communication if you are in the field of communication you are a radio jockey you are a um, anybody who speaks throughout the day right i speak throughout the day i am in sales uh, i do tarot i speak uh, you might be a teacher you speak um, a lot of us are speaking and it's a part of our you know job profile uh, very strongly and those kind of professions will get success provided you are ready to tap into this magician energy okay there's a strong power in this pile and there is a lot of abundance coming a lot of completions happening with 1010 10. 10 10 could be a number you're repeatedly seeing okay i have a lot of ones here so 111 10 10 multiples of one is clearly a number that you're seeing if you're seeing those numbers make wishes and create an energy of gratitude okay this pile again needs to work with moon phases um i don't know why all three piles had a very strong energy of moon magic okay with the moons showing up everywhere that they did okay heart chakra healing would also be great for you so would root chakra okay root chakra healing would be amazing for this pile let's look at your oracle messages didn't jeez i just said it you see the synchronicity with which these two come out right i'll read this message for you because it's important maybe you know law of attraction but you're misapplying it relationships and activities that you once enjoyed they are over are now changing as you've become more sensitive and aware of energies i mean look at that energy many of you might be might have a message for you with throat chakra showing up and heart chakra showing up i think this pile this particular pile who's picked it has a message in each each of the piles so if you can go and go back and watch one and two you will know why i said it and tell me if you actually understood why i said it because pile one had heart chakra pile two had throat chakra and you had the 10 of pentacles okay which is like the perfect uh, alignment of all the chakras right so i want you to go and listen to one and two because there's some message for you independently on one and two this pile i mean it's damn obvious if you're not doing chakra meditation next 90 days action plan make a vision board read about law of attraction look how you can you know up your manifestation games what are the different manifestation techniques you're working with are they working are they not working every day i'm making one or the other video a story on my instagram account around law of attraction around these things so go follow me you'll find many other creators as well who have great ideas around manifestation techniques you need to work with the universe you've segregated yourself you've isolated yourself and you're not working with the universe we are co-creators we're not here to do everything on our own right delegation is clearly again where did that card go see again the same message in a very different form has shown up for you um you're not working with the universe ask for archangels to help you and they will help you okay at your workplace which is why i'm again feeling like i'm repeating certain messages for you between 2 and 3 at your workplace if you do get cranky again goes back to the chakra healing okay every day 7 minutes just take 7 minutes 1 minute each chakra it's not a lot to ask for when you wake up play that video sit down for 7 minutes and do that chakra meditation every hour if you could just remember to take that 2 minutes break Okay do some check with yourself i'm well i'm happy i speak what i mean i'm kind you know see those nice things to yourself every hour just one minute pause what you're doing you know create some body awareness right create some physical awareness physical activity is very important for the spine as well that's also very evident okay in the next 90 days start focusing and working on healing your wounds as well as creating new manifestation techniques and actually sticking to them you know many of you maybe you start something and you don't stick with it uh three days she that this person does yoga four days this person does chakra meditation six days this person uh goes to the gym and then they forget about it for the next 20 days right don't do that also maybe you guys are perfectionist so maybe you start a work project and the moment it has the first obstacle you think that it's too it's gone bad now and you drop it don't quit on things that you're starting because that that abundance will flow in okay 
in the next 90 days if you don't already have a proper vision board or you don't have your list of goals written down for the rest of 2021 you need to do that there is a tarot reading i've done for what is the rest of 2021 bringing for you again you'll find the description below you might find value there as well okay now what i want you to do is we're going to look at some dice if the messages resonated don't forget to subscribe that's what makes all of this worth it right uh let's see six and five wow 11 guys yeah and the skeptics will call all of this a shenanigan and all of this okay is just coincidence for some people six and five is 11 did we just say 10 10 one zero one zero i have magician which is one do you see the number of ones that have shown up for you if you don't know what 111 means, go check it. 111, 1111, and 1111. Five times one as well. Okay? All these numbers, angels are communicating to you with this. Okay? The number five and the number six independently could be important for you. 65 or 56, again, are angel numbers which are important for you. Now I want you to think of a message. Yes or no? Okay? Take some deep breaths. We'll take three cards and see what comes out for you. In the first two, I forgot to ask a question for myself. So while I'm shuffling, I'm also asking a yes or no question. <laughs> so ask a yes or no question. Do read, you know, do go check out the other files, the other messages that came up for you because I strongly felt that energy. Okay. Yes or no. We have one, two, and I'll take one more. Oh, right. Okay. See, the indecision also showed up, but we're not taking that. Okay. All uprights only. That's a, wow, two major arcanas. Huh? That's a yes. We finally have a yes. Okay, in, in fact, you know what? Those two are yes. And tower, I know people say it as no. But it's one of my favorite cards. I always love the tower showing up. Amazing reading. I hope the action plan helped you. Take actual action and do come back and tell me how did you like the reading. Love you so much. Wish you wealth, prosperity, abundance because you deserve it all. Take care. Bye-bye.